Merry Christmas everyone and welcome to another Hearthstone video. I'm Furo and today I'll present you another Hearthstone deck which is a cube lock deck made and played by Doc over the last couple of days on his stream. If you're not familiar with cube lock that is a new kind of type of control or combo deck that emerged with the latest expansion Kobolds and Catacombs into the game and it's all about one card which is the Gunnivorous Cube here. Battlecry destroy a friendly minion that's why it'll come in two copies of it. So why would you like to play this card? Uh, first of all the effect is very powerful and second of all uh, Warlock has the Doom Guard, which is a 5-7 charge unit. Normally with a battle cry, discard two random cards. But in the new type of Warlock deck that we are playing, you do not necessarily need to discard two cards to get the Doom Guard on the board, because there are some other cards in the deck that will help you with that. So if you have the cube, if you attack with the Doom Guard, so five damage in the face, and you play the cube, and then the cube, if the cube is dying, you're getting two Doom Guards more on the board. That will be another 10 damage that you can use or charge in the face so that will be 15 in one turn you can even increase that a bit more if you do some other crazy stuff but for that later so um, to get the doom guard out of the deck and not discard two random cards you have some options with that and that is the possessed lackey here first of all that's death rattle recruit a demon you only have two type of demons in the deck that is first of all of course the doom guard and then the void lord here which is a nine mana creature taunt death rattle summon three one three demons with taunt and he has three attack nine defense pretty solid card all around so because you only have two demons on the deck there is a decent chance that the possessed lackey when it is dying gives you doom guards on the board or of course void lord isn't too bad either but the Doom Guard is helping you for some one turn kill action with a lot of charge damage for the face. So that's pretty cool. So that's the first card that allows you to get the Doom Guard out of the deck onto the board. And the second one that helps you without discarding cards to play the Doom Guard is the new legendary weapon Skull of the Manari. At the start of your turn summon a demon from your hand. So if you have the Doom Guard in your hand, boom, guess what? He's coming on the board without the need of discarding cards that's very powerful plus you can attack at the same turn so that's five in the face and go for the cube for example and then have more damage in the face if you have played the cube on the doom guard you of course want to get kind of the doom guard instantly if you really want to do a lot of damage so that's why you have a card like the dark pact in your deck dark pact also a new card it's a common card one mana destroy a friendly minion restore eight health to your hero if you combine that with the cube, you can then, let's assume you have the weapon on the board, you can then play the cube for five. You will play the dark pact on the cube. That's costing six in total. And you are healing back for eight. Plus you're dealing damage of 15 into your opponent's face. Or if you need a trade, of course, you can also trade for 15 whatsoever. But normally you want to deal the damage in your opponent's face. So that is a very powerful combination of cards and not costing too much. So it's totally working off. What is also working off is... For example, the Spellstone here against aggressive decks. It's a great new card, a rare card. Lifesteal the three damage to a minion. And if you take damage from your cards, you will upgrade this Spellstone. So it's not working with your hero power. But if you, for example, use a Hellfire, then you're dealing damage to yourself. And that would mean that the Spellstone is getting upgraded. So instead of five, three damage, you're then dealing five damage. And after that, seven damage. You are having lifesteal. So that means you're getting the life back. It's all just helping you to survive longer. If you are in need of having even more charge damage, then we're also running the Prince Taldaram here. This is the legendary from uh, Knights of the Frozen Throne. Battle cry if your deck has no three cost cards, transform into a three three copy of a minion. Guess what? We have no three cost cards. And you can use that, of course, also on the cube. Potentially, that would allow you, if you play the cube, Prince Taldaram, and then double dark pack that is costing a total of 10 mana and that would allow you to get 20 charge damage into the face plus the five that you already used that would be a total of 25 in one turn that is really really powerful indeed and should help you normally to win the game quite easily if you still need a bit more power in the end game, you can just go for the Blood Reaver Gul'dan, which is summon all friendly demons that died this game. Because you just have Void Lords and Doom Guards, one of those will definitely respawn. And if you have a lot of Doom Guards, the amount of charge damage for the second wave kind of that you then have, that should be at least the victory for you. Uh, the Void Lords are not really helping you in that regard, but it's a great tool against aggressive decks. So if you face an aggressive decks, uh, you might not necessarily need the Doom Guard because you're just 
outliving your opponent with the Void Lords, he cannot overcome the huge wall of taunts that you're building. So let's build a wall, let your opponent pay for it, and GG. So that's more or less the deck. I will now show you a very fun game that I've played earlier with the Blood Reaver cooldown, Cube Lock deck. And that just shows you the immense power of Doomguard that can go for a bit of charge damage in the face. So please enjoy that. If you still have questions left, questions unanswered, please use the comment section and you can also hit the like button or subscribe to my channel to get notified when I'll be uploading more Hearthstone content or all the other various card games that I'm covering on my channel. So please enjoy another gameplay and see you then after Christmas. I wish you a wonderful Christmas Day, a wonderful fest with your family and see you then guys. Bye bye. All right, guys, so we have Warlock versus Warlock. So either we are facing a Zulok here, which would be very good for us, or we are facing another Cube Lock, kind of, so control style. Um, we're starting with the Mistress, and we are also keeping the Hellfire, just in case if he's playing a Zulok, then the Hellfire is very useful. Um, if not, then, well, we still have something to, to deal damage with, but then it's not as powerful. So Mistress, we can play that for the start. And why do we get the cube back again? Why would you do that to me? Spellbreaker. So we're gonna start with the Mistress. If he's dropping you on one, that's normally then a Zulog, but it could of course something like draw a card, boom, two damage in the face, that's still good. He's not doing anything, so that will be then probably also a control deck. But we will find out pretty soon. We are just drawing here, of course, because of the Mistress on the board. It just makes sense to draw cards. We are healing back anyway, so why should you just waste that? And he's also playing a similar deck. So it's all over the ladder right now. Another mistress. Oh well, guess what? We're just drawing Hellfire. Uh, we can also drop the mistress, it's fine. Tark Reaper. Uh, it doesn't matter too much to me, it's a Void Lord. So uh, we will just draw one more card. We get a coil here. That's the thing we can do, so trade, trade, use a coil. Going for it. So heal him back to full life, of course. We use the coil, get an extra card into the hand, get another cube with no real target at the moment. So how about pretty bad? Pretty, pretty bad indeed. Another Tar Creeper incoming. And the Cobalt Labyrinth, yeah, I like that. So we can then upgrade the Spell Stone, which we can use on this little guy if we really need to. Oh, it's also the skull. Skull, which is right now giving us just the Void Lord. Still, not too bad. Killing a Star Creeper, going back to full life. And then we can drop the skull on the next turn, which is then spawning the Void Lord. We can then use, for example, the cube on the Void Lord. Normally, you want to use that on the Doom God, but still, nonetheless, it is fine. And another spell stone. Go for the skull now. By far the best option. We can use the Void Lord then defensively. There we go, four on the face. And that's it, he's not playing anything. He's at nine cards right now. Spawning the Void Lord onto the board. There's a Defile. So, quite a few options. Let's say we are drawing first. We get the Possessed Lucky, which I really, really like. Because we can play that greatly in combination with the cube. Just need to be careful that he's not silencing it. So let's just drop the possessed lucky, shall we? Just hope that he's surviving one turn. And we can, for example, use the, the cube, spawn two demons, or we use the dark pact, spawn a demon, hope that's a doom guard, then use the cube and spawn more doom guards later. That is uh, it's not a silence. And we get to do that. Perfect. I know, but maybe it's done. Maybe it's giving us a Siphon Soul. It is the Siphon Soul, isn't it? It is. Yeah. The Doom that is done. What a pity. Just another Dark Pact. We'll have 12 cards to go. We have 9 in the hand. We're drawing one more. There is another Doom God, And that is spawning on the next turn. Pretty, pretty good. So let's just push three in the face. I had just to see. So the, the stone is just dealing right three. Oh, so let's kill this unit then. And ending the turn, of course. So we are spawning Doomguard next turn. We can then use the little, little cube. So hitting five in the face, play the cube on the Doomguard. We can then even um, kill the cube again with the Dark Pack. And boom, spawning more Doomguards. The 
Siberian down to 23. Doomguard now spawning. We have eight right now on the board. Mortal Coil. Uh, so, push the damage in. Down to 15. We will then go for the cube here. Hit the Doomguard. And we can use the Dark Pact to get rid of our cube. So we have two more Doomguards for the face. So he is then down to 5. Still missing a bit, but we can use the Mortal Coil here to go to 2-1. And we get a Simon Soul. 9 cards to go. We are also drawing one more. And there's a Blood Reaver go down. With the Blood Reaver go down, we will get some Doom Guards back. And the Doom Guards can hit the face. There's some life steal. And there's more life steal. Oh, that's a lot, sir. So if we now drop the Blood Reaver, we should spawn triple Doom Guards and one Void Lord, which is already quite a lot of damage, but we would miss out on one point. We would miss out on one point. Are we still doing that? We are still doing that, right? Let's go. Here we go. So there we go. Triple Doom Guard. So he's down to one point of life. He's getting four life through the mistress back. We have three damage here from the hand. We also have double health fire, which is another three. So that's nine in total that we can push if he's just clearing the whole board. But if he's clearing the whole board, then at least the the void walkers here should stay on the board. Though so that is normally still good enough because he already played the spell stone. So that is um, the healing that he's missing now. He could play a dark pack for eight life. Then he's getting 12 in total. That's 13. Let's see. I think we're in a very good spot to kill him here next turn. Just with the power of the Doom Guards. So he's going back to 5. There is a Sea Lord. So I would expect that the Defile is coming. There we go, the Defile. That is 2. And that's it. Oh, another Defile. Okay. But you're still, still having a lot of units on the board. And there's a good seat. No need for the double Hellfire action. 